Good afternoon. This is the regularly, regularly scheduled Community Development Regulatory Services meeting uh, for the date March 14, 2017. My name is Jacob Fry. I'll be chairing this committee today as Councilmember Goodman, the normal chair, couldn't be here. And I am joined by a quorum committee of the committee, including Councilmembers Warsami, Reich, and Kano. Uh, we are a quorum, and we have 20 items on the agenda for today. Um, item number 19 which is uh, a short-term uh, food ordinance and a referral to staff will be, uh, will be deleted uh, and at the very least postponed. Um, I will go ahead and move that deletion. Uh, is there any discussion on this particular item? Uh, seeing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 All those opposed say no, that item passes. Um, so first we're gonna go through and approve the consent items. Um, Item number six is a liquor business and gambling license. Uh, seven is a business license operating conditions for allied waste management services. Um, number eight is a business license operating condition for best taxis doing business as best taxi. Uh, number nine is a business license operating condition for Rise Bagel. Uh, Ten is a temporary on sale liquor license uh, and setting a public hearing for March 28th, 2017. Uh, number 11 is an issuance of up to $110 million in revenue bonds for Alina Health System. It's a resolution giving preliminary and final approval for the joint issuance with St. Paul Housing and Redevelopment Authority. Uh, number 12 is travel donation acceptance uh, for Anna Pearson, a step-up director. And it's a passage of a resolution accepting donation from, M from MHA uh, labs of up to 2500 for Anna. Uh, number 13 is a travel donation and acceptance for Anna Pierce Peterson. Number 14 is a contract amendment with River Services, Inc. for Upper Harbor Terminal Interim for uh, property management. Uh, it's also approving a waiver for the requirement for a request for proposals process for the contract. And there's also, it's also authorizing an extension of a uh, contract with River Services. Uh, 15 is a, the Great Street Program changes. Uh, 16 is a contract amendment with a gimmick for lender administrative services uh, for the city loan programs. Uh, seven, 17 is a contract with greater also with gimmick, uh, for the home improvement loan program. 18 is a rental dwelling license conditions for 19 Sydney Place. Uh, and as I mentioned earlier, 19 is deleted. Does anybody want to pull any of those consent items off the agenda for right now? Uh, seeing none, I will go ahead and move approval of items 6 through 18 as item number 19 was deleted. All in approval of uh, items 6 through 18, please say aye. 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 All those opposed say no. Those items have passed. Um, now we're going to kick back into item number one, which is a it's a Plymouth Christian Youth Center bond issuance for 2021 West Broadway and 20, uh, 2210 Oliver uh, Avenue North. And here to present is uh, Mr. Curtis. Mr. Curtis. Mr. Chair, members of the committee, thank you. You have before you a request for up to $3 million of tax-exempt bank qualified bank direct bonds to be issued for, by the PCYC, for the PCYC. Uh, this is strictly a refinancing of a 2009 bond plus some additional debt that the uh, organization has. There, there is the, no anticipated changes of relationships or the facility there. It's an opportunity for interest rates to be reduced. Uh, it will be placed privately with Bremer Bank. There is a representative here if you should have any questions. Thank you, Mr. Curtis. Do we have any questions for staff at this moment? Irene, this is, this is a public hearing as well. This is a joint public hearing, is that right? Okay. Um, seeing no questions, I will uh, open the public hearing. Does anybody wish to uh, speak to this item? Does anybody wish to speak to this item? Anyone? Uh, seeing none, I will close uh, the public hearing. Uh, Councilmember Reich. Uh, Mr. Chair, I move the item. Uh, Councilmember Reich has moved approval of item number one. Uh, any further discussion on item number one? Uh, seeing none, uh, all those in approval, please say aye. Aye. All those opposed say no, and that item uh, has passed. Item number two is a land sale for 2436 13th Avenue South uh, to Twin Cities Habitat for, for Humanity. 
Uh, and here to present is Mr. Pettiford. Mr. Pettiford. Mr. Chair, committee members. Uh, actually, the three items in a row on the agenda, all of which are sales to or proposed sales to Twin Cities Habitat for Humanity. Yeah, let's crank through all three at once. Um, I would appreciate that. Um, all of the properties were acquired. Two of them were acquired from uh, Hennepin County. They were tax forfeited parcels. The third one was acquired from HUD. Um, and one offer was received, and that was from Habitat for Humanity. They're proposing to build single family homes that they will sell to owner occupants uh, with their own mortgage financing. It's going to provide long term affordable housing. Um, and all three properties will be developed through the city's home ownership works program with the development gap assistance of $50,000. The homes will be sold to owner occupant home buyers at or below 80% of the area median income. The home buyer is also eligible to receive up to $14,999 of needs based affordability assistance. As part of the program through Habitat, the home buyer is required to commit sweat equity through the construction phase. Additionally, the homeowner will receive their first mortgage through Habitat. They will also sign um, a 30-year buyback option uh, on these houses. Mm -hmm. And uh, they will also have access to Minnesota MHFA funds to maintain the property over the holding period or ownership period. Are there questions? Do you have any questions for Mr. Pettiford on items number two, three, and four? Thank you, Mr. Pettiford. Thank you. So I will go through and open the public hearing for each one of these in turn. Uh, first, I'll open the public hearing for item number two, which is a land sale for 2436 13th Avenue South to Twin Cities Habitat for Humanity. Uh, anybody want to talk about this? Anybody want to speak to this item? Anyone? Uh, seeing none, I will close the public hearing. Um, uh, Council Member Kano. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I would like to advance this item. Uh, Council Member Kano has moved approval of item number two. Any further discussion on this item? Uh, seeing none, all those in approval, please say aye. 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 All those opposed, say no. Item number two passes. Uh, I will now open the uh, public hearing for the land sale of 2542 12th Avenue South to Twin Cities Habitat for Humanity. Uh, anyone here want to talk about item number three? Anyone here to speak to item number three? Anyone? Uh, seeing none, I will close the public <coughs> hearing. Uh, Council Member Kano. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I would like to advance this item. Uh, Council Member Kano has approved, uh, moved to approve uh, item number three, land sale for 2542 12th Avenue South. Uh, any discussion on this item? Uh, seeing none, all those in approval, please say aye. 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 All those opposed, say no. That item passes. Item number four. Uh, is, uh, I'll open the public hearing for item number four, which is a land sale at 2921 18th Avenue South, also to Habitat for Humanity. Anyone here is here to speak? Anyone here want to speak? Anyone? Uh, seeing none, I will close the public hearing. Council Member uh, Warsami. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Chair, and I'll happily move approval of this item. Council Member Warsami has approved, uh, made, moved approval of item number four. Any discussion on this item? Uh, seeing none. Uh, all those in approval, please say aye. 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 All those opposed, say no, and that item passes. Uh, we're now on to the quasi-judicial portion um, of this uh, agenda, which is uh, business license suspension for AYM Corporation doing business as Windy City Market, 628 Lowry Avenue North, here to present is Mr. Wilson. And Mr. Fussy. Mr. Chair, I, I believe that I'll be ha handling the presentation of this matter today. Go for it. Uh, as you mentioned, it does involve a proposed adverse license sanction against a tobacco dealer's license held by Mohammed Ibrahim of the AYM Corporation doing business as the Windy City Market uh, at 628 Lowry Avenue North. Um, 
as you know, this is a quasi-judicial hearing. I should state, however, that it's my understanding that I do not that, that the uh, licensee nor a representative of the licensee I do not believe will be present today. Um, although certainly we can open up the, the hearing if uh, they should be present. Um, I would note that the, this uh, a hearing did take place before uh, a municipal hearing officer, Daniel Mercurier, on, Mercurio, on February 9th of this year. And the hearing officer did find specifically that the licensee engaged in um, prohibited tobacco purchases or inventory purchases from non-licensed distributors. And the hearing officer recommended a 120-day suspension of the, of the licensee's uh, tobacco dealer's license along with a $500 fine. Um, staff has reviewed that uh, finding and recommendation and would uh, simply ask that it be affirmed and imposed. Uh, as I mentioned, um, I don't believe that the licensee is here and it's my understanding from staff that um, a new purchaser of the uh, establishment has been identified and um, licensed staff is in the, pro in, in the process of um, vetting that application to ensure that uh, there aren't any uh, prohibited connections between the former, what would be the former licensee and the proposed new licensee. But it looks as if uh, there probably will be a transition in this business license. Nonetheless, because it is still currently in effect, uh, staff would uh, simply uh, request that the um, hearing officer's recommendation be adopted in whole by this committee and by the council. And with that, um, staff or myself could stand for any questions, and it would be appropriate to uh, call upon the licensee or a representative of the licensee to address this committee if, should they be here. Thank you, Mr. Fussy. Do we have any questions for staff at this time? Uh, thank you. Um, so at this time, I will open up the hearing to a, the licensee and or their representative. Uh, we're fairly limited in the testimony that we can take here at today, and it's exclusively limited to that which has been addressed at the previous hearing involving, Mr. Fuzzy was involving an administrative law judge. Uh, Mr. Chair, it was, a, it was a Minneapolis hearing officer. Oh, excuse me, it, involving the Minneapolis hear, hearing officer. So we may, not, we may not consider and you may not state any new testimony or evidence that we have not already heard at the previous hearing. That being said, uh, is the licensee and or their representative here to speak today? Uh, is the licensee or and or representative here? Are they here? Um, seeing that they're not here, I will uh, close the hearing, and it seems like we've worked out the scenario pretty well going forward. Is there is potentially another purchaser, and uh, you know I would move to approve the, um, the staff recommendation on item number five. Uh, any discussion on this item? Uh, seeing none. All those in approval, please say aye. 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 All those opposed, say no. That item passes. Um, Final item on the, the agenda for today is uh, number 20, which is the Cedar Riverside Opportunity Center Memorandum of Understanding for 515 uh, 15th Avenue South. And here to present is Mr. Brenda. Mr. Brenda. Mr. Chair, committee members, thank you very much. I am here, in fact, to talk about the Cedar Riverside Opportunity Center Mem Memorandum of Understanding, and it is to authorize a Memorandum of Understanding between the Cedar Riverside Partnership and the City of Minneapolis to support the activities at the newly opened center. I just want to say first that I am standing here with uh, staff that have been working on this and council members. Obviously, I want to thank Tammy Dickinson, who's actually been one of the point people from our office uh, helping to get this up and running. And I'd like to introduce our newest hire, who will be acting as the uh, manager of the Opportunity Center, Say Behe, who um, will say a few words in a few moments. But let me just back up and uh, let you know why I'm standing in front of you with this MOU with um, the partnership. Uh, over two and a half years ago, we started a project through the partnership in Cedar Riverside to look at a way in which we could bring greater resources and workforce development and training uh, and access to education and entrepreneurship to the Cedar Riverside neighborhood. And through that work group, we've uh, thought through many different iterations of this Opportunity Center, first a hub, then potentially a location at, at a rented Fairview location. And it was only about a year ago in which the uh, location that you have already pointed out across the street from the Brian Coyle Center was made available. 
And Hennepin County jumped on that and said this could be the center in which we can really make a change in the Cedar Riverside neighborhood. The city of Minneapolis was very active and willing to participate in that. We saw this as a real add value to the work we were already doing in Cedar Riverside and to bring a lot of those services into one center. And so through this partnership in which we are considered, the city of Minneapolis is considered an anchor partner along with Hennepin County and Emerge and MCTC, we really felt like we could enter into this uh, MOU as an anchor partner to formalize our commitment to operating in a new way and bringing new resources to Cedar Riverside neighborhood. And in fact, through council action and through the design of our programs, we brought on a manager, we've uh, found uh, and been uh, authorized some resources to do this work differently for the first year. And then it allows us to take a look at what we're doing programmatically through federal sources, state sources, and local sources to really bring a new focus onto the work of training and education in the Cedar Riverside neighborhood. And so it's in this MOU that we really see that commitment uh, is looking to, uh, in good faith, as I mentioned, bring together those resources. Think about how Hennepin County Library, their Hennepin County Works, which is their recruitment engine, our city departments, be it CPED, HR and its recruiting, public service jobs through our police and fire department, can, can use this opportunity hub as really sort of a space to recruit from and to say, hey, there are opportunities for uh, the many things that we have on offer, as well as bring new services such as entrepreneurship training to the center. And this hub gives us that opportunity and the amount of resources being collected around this through those anchor partners is pretty great. Then there's a second set of partners uh, considered core partners who are also going to be bringing to that. So having us in that position as an anchor partner and seeing ourselves in a lead role in that, having, uh, say, Behe as a point person for managing the center and to coordinate all that activity, I think we're putting ourselves in a really strong position to really see some new work come out of Cedar Riverside. And that's why we're here with this MOU uh, drafted by uh, the partnership, Cedar Riverside Partnership, in which we're hoping to get signed by uh, the city of Minneapolis. Thank you, Mr. Brenda. Yep. Please. For the record, we have a man with a very sore back, so <laughs> he's <laughs> making his way. Hello, good afternoon, uh, council member chair and council members. My name is Saeed Bifi. I'm the new hire of a Cedar Riverside uh, manager. I have a bachelor's degree in information technology and I also work prior this position, I work as a community specialist with a city clerk, where I have been able to do outreach and uh, community collaborations. And because of my IT background and because of my strong relationship with the community, I believe I can represent the city of Minneapolis and deliver those employment and educational opportunities. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate your work. Anyone else, Mr. Mr. Brennan, wants to speak? Okay. Um, well, this is a uh, this is a discussion item. Is there is there an action item here to take for today? It's is it approving? Is authorizing the memorandum? I believe. Okay. Yes. Um, so uh, thank you. I, any questions for staff at this point? No. Well, I just want to say I sincerely appreciate your work um, having been at the ribbon cutting the other day and having seen the progress made just over the last couple of months, this is clearly a, a wonderful opportunity and um, I want to thank all, all of staff for, for what I know was a ton of work that went into this. Um, and, uh, and I'm sure Council Member Warsami uh, uh, would like to, to speak to the item. Yeah. Uh, th <coughs> thank you, uh, Mr. Chair. And uh, thanks to the city staff for all the work you've done. Um, the Cedar Riverside uh, Opportunity Center is a, is a, is a very exciting project and, uh, and you know, we want to hold all the anchor partners uh, accountable. So right. we want to make sure, I mean, I'm, he I'm seeing the goals here to reduce unemployment by 50% within the next two years and increase higher educational attainment by 50%. I think these are, you know, great goals and doable, but we, we need to make sure that we reach these uh, these goals and uh, thank you very much for all the hard work you've done and uh, you know we, we, we need to pass this so we can be in that center and uh, become an anchor partner. 
So I make a move. Yeah, I make a I make a motion to to approve the the, the memorandum of understanding, so we can become an anchor partner in the in the Opportunity Centre in Cedar Riverside. Uh, well, Council Member Warsami, thank you for your work. Uh, you. I know it was extensive and. Um, uh, Council Member Warsami has moved approval of uh, item number 20, authorizing a memorandum of understanding between the Cedar Riverside Partnership and the city to support the Cedar Riverside Opportunity Center. Um, any further discussion on this item? Uh, seeing none, all those in approval, please say aye. 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 All those opposed, say no. And uh, that item has passed. Uh, as we have no other items on the agenda uh, for today, we are adjourned. Thank you. Thank you.